Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Steve Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live, and uh, friends, I just wanted to quickly mention a couple of things to you, and uh, this afternoon, uh, we'll be flying back towards Orlando, but we do have a little layover uh, there in Denver, and uh, maybe we can meet some of you guys while we're there, so uh, if you want to reach out to me, I'll take in, uh, when I get to Denver this evening, I'll try to put on uh, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, a quick little link where you can contact me as soon as I can figure out maybe where we can meet some folks at there. It'll be the following day, uh, the next day when we would try to meet, maybe for lunch or something like that, or or uh, we'll just see. We'll see what we can come up with. The hotel's got a little small conference room. We'll try to do that there, uh, but we'll we'll let you know what we can come up with on that. But the issues that I really need to go into later this evening are some very critical things that are happening in the world. Uh, John Hagee even recently, uh, someone had sent me a video, I uh, caught uh, just a clip. I need to go find his full interview. But he was actually stating that Yeshua, that's Jesus, for those that don't know the name Yeshua, um, never came here claiming to be the Messiah. I was really blown away by his statement, and uh, he mentions it. He said he can prove it, which uh, that's totally false because the woman at the well, when he met the woman at the well, and she said, we know that when Messiah comes, this is what he'll do. He says, I that speak with thee am he. No, he does claim to be the Messiah, so that's false what he says. But the other issue I'm concerned about is this is exactly what the New World Order is wanting. They're going to put to death those that believe in the divinity of Yeshua, and it's it's very big issue. And now we find out President Trump is appointing his own president for Venezuela, claiming they have their own. Guys, look, good friend of mine in Israel, just a friend of mine. Now, I know he's got he knows some people in the know. I'll just say it like that. Um, but he said to me clearly that there's boots on the ground already. U.S. and Israeli forces uh, have special ops in Israel right now that are working with the overthrow of the government. Now with uh, Venezuelan president uh, cutting ties with the U.S., demanding all their diplomats get out, it's about ready. It's, it's, they're, they're, they're fixing to go to war. The U.S. has been trying to topple this nation for years. Russia looking to build an island off their coast. Um, in, in, in every direction, I'm seeing new world order. In the United States, 26 states have passed laws that you can't speak anything against Israel. The New York mayor recently allowed, I say the New York mayor, could have been the governor, I'm not sure which politician did it, just approved, like the state of Israel has, a, you can abort your child all the way up to birth. But yeah, you've got the laws out there. The mother walks out of the hospital with a baby and, and chokes the baby out, then she goes to prison. What's the difference? You know, I'm totally against abortion to begin with. But what's the difference? You know, I mean, we have Herod is, is really on the move. And depopulation agenda, everything. Uh, and listen, for our friends that listen to us on Patreon, we've got some messages for you guys coming up just as soon as we can get back in. Unfortunately, I didn't have the password. I'd have been putting some things up there already. It's that bad. It's really that bad. And I can see global conflict coming. And Israel, listen, my friends, my brothers, my sisters over there, those that are both Jewish, non-Jewish, my Jewish friends don't realize that the war that's being orchestrated against Israel that's an inside job, kind of like 9-11. It's an inside job. And yeah, our people are going to pay the price. They're going to pay the price because they're doing this in order to bring about a new world order. I'm, I'm bothered. I'm really bothered. Anyway, i got to make this short because I don't have much time to upload before I catch the plane. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Those of you that are supporting this work, because we don't have the uh, money launderers to support this ministry. I uh, wouldn't want them anyway, but my point is, is I, I know those ministries that get mega checks in and things like that do very well. We don't have that. That's why I wear the same color shirts a lot of times. Or I, as when we came back to America, I dug a whole bunch of the old ones out of the boxes there, the ones I could still fit in after getting fat here in America. Uh, but anyway, listen, we, we, we appreciate your support, and we thank you for those of you that do support this work. Um, 
And listen, if nothing else, share these videos the best you can because we're going to tell you the truth. I'm Steve Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom, shalom. In a world of Ain Shalom.